I'm so excited. Today's class is about easy contouring, defining, um, and also doing some brows and lips. So we're going to jump right in. My name is Margaret. And if you are looking for easy tips on how to contour, this is the class for you. Um, this is a part of a makeup masterclass series. So if there are um, other things you'd like to learn about, like how to apply your um, eye makeup, I have a video all about the eyes, also skin prep, um, and how to get a flawless face. And and then, um, of course, all those pro touch tips, touch up tips um, I share with you. So check out those videos. There is a four part series. So um, my little gift for you for watching is this makeup guide. Um, and you can just type this um, uh, link into your web browser and it will take you right to where you can get access to this guide. Okay. So um, that's my free gift to you. A lot of the slides that I show on these um, uh, videos are included in that guide. So it's a great reference for you. So I want to make sure that you have that. And it is Vipe link with no I. V-I-P-E-L-N-K.com. I'm also going to put this in the description so you can find it there as well. Okay. So let's jump in. All right. So contour and define. This is going to be really fun because I'm going to show you with one um, tool how you can contour you can highlight and apply your blush. Okay. So there's little cheat sheets in this um, guide. So make sure to get that. And uh, it's super fun. So your beauty consultant is someone who wants to hear from you because she is trained. And this is one of the ways that she gets trained is just by watching videos like this too. And so we have access to all of these tools and we love to help our customers um, just learn and be educated um, about how to just do the simple things um, of contouring and highlighting. Uh, and we can teach you how to do that. So be sure to reach out to your consultant. If you saw this video, um, reach out to her so she can help you. Um, all right. So contouring and defining. It is all about the shape of your face, first of all. Okay. So you have to kind of figure out what is your face shape. So on this um, sheet, you will see there's oval, round, heart-shaped, um, long face, and square face, okay? So this is a, kind of a little cheat sheet to show you where you would be contouring and where you'd be highlighting and the best place to apply your blush based on your face shape. So obviously you'd have this to reference um, for yourself, but um, anywhere that you're putting the darker kind of contouring shade is a place where you're kind of trying to recede or sort of... Um, um, kind of hide uh, or diminish a little bit um, the look. So kind of make it like, for example, around the cheek area and jawline, if you have a square face, maybe not make it quite so square um, or give it that appearance. So that's something that you... Um, can look at in particular for your face shape and see what the recommendations are for you. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just show you um, uh, what I'm going to do for my oval face, because that's pretty much what I have as an oval face. Um, so I'm going to show you how I apply um, and how this chart is actually showing you how to apply um, with this one brush. So that's what's pretty exciting too. talk about keeping it simple. Um, so I have already done my skin prep. Okay. So I've done all my skincare. Um, I've done my primers. Um, so I have that all on. I've got my under eye corrector. I've got my um, foundation on and then also um, some concealer. So I have done that so far. So let's go ahead and start with the contour. Okay. So the contouring um, is going to be, as you see on the chart there, contouring is going to be at this part of the brush. Okay. It's on this end. So I have a little palette, super cute, right? Um, this is great because it houses all of your, um, products and, and stuff for this particular look. And uh, we actually have one that's really big too. It's just kind of fun. So if you're total into glam, then you'll want to check out the pro palette. Um, this is called the perfect palette. Um, okay. So I am putting just a little bit of a color called latte on the very edge. See that of the brush. All right. And then for the oval face, it's showing me that I would need to have a little bit of shading of the contour um, on the base here of the cheek. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit here like that. And I'm going to kind of apply it with a little upward motion like that. And you're going to see how it actually helps kind of sink in the cheeks a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So look at that. Just that little bit um, 
gives you that little bit of definition there. Okay, so that is where the uh, latte is going. This is again the contouring. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side here like that just to get a little bit of shading in here. Okay, tiny, tiny bit. There we go. All right, so see that how it just kind of like gives you that little bit of shadow right in that area. All right, so that's our contour. Luckily for an oval face, that's all I have to do, I think. <laughs> so there you go. So when I kind of come back, you can sort of see how it's, it's providing a little bit more um, definition and contouring, obviously. Okay, so that is where I put my latte. And then um, for, let's see, for the cheeks, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using a color called Shy Blush. And if you notice there, it's gonna go on this part of the, um, it's hard to tell here, this part, this is where your cheek color is going to go, okay? So according to the chart, for me, it's best to put for an oval face, a little bit of color just right here on your cheeks. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put just a little bit right there like that and then a little bit on this side here just kind of right there so almost on the apple and I'm smiling while I do it just because there we go all right so a little bit of cheek color there just like that perfect all right so we, we contoured, we put our blush on, and now we just need to highlight. So the highlight is gonna use this end right here. So um, uh, this color is called glazed. And as you can see, according to the um, chart there, a little bit on the forehead is what it's recommending, okay, for the oval face. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I think I'm, I'm allowed to do this, right up here, just like right above where I put the cheek color kind of just to highlight. I'm going to do that there too, just to give it like a little bit of glisten on the cheeks. So anyway, there we are. Little dust, little shine. All right. Can't wait to get some lips on. <laughs> it's always funny watching um, myself without lips. I'm like, where are my lips? I need my lips. Okay. All right. So we got this going on. All right. Contour defined. We used our cheek brush. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the cheeks though. So check this out. Um, you can see according to this chart here, ivory beige and bronze. These are the, the different colors that we recommend based on your skin tone um, that are just these chroma fusion um, uh, colors. And that just means they, they stay true to color. They're very long lasting, highly pigmented. Uh, so they are awesome. But this chart will give you a recommendation recommendation um, as to which uh, color would be best for you and beige um, in that category there. I'm really kind of between ivory and beige. Um, I do really like shy blush. So that's the one that I used today. So, all right, let's go ahead and talk about eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Eyeliner is so fun. Okay. So based on um, the, the chart here, um, almond eyes, round eyes, and wide set eyes. These are specific tips that you can reference um, in order to just to make sure that your eyes really pop and stand out. Um, sometimes if we have a smaller eye, um, if you line the eye all the way around, it's going to make it look smaller. And we want to make the eye look bigger, right? So these are different tips um, for you to be able to apply your eyeliner based on your particular eye shape. Okay. So these, um, uh, well, I'm going to show you a new waterproof eyeliner. Okay. That I'm going to apply. And then I'm going to show you a liquid liner that I'm going to apply. So let me just get this. Uh, let me just go ahead and put me up there. All right. Um, so liquid liner. Do I have that here? Yes. Okay. All right. So the waterproof eyeliner, this is amazing. These are new. They are so creamy and so amazing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, apply this and I'm going to, you know, you can do on top or you can kind of go right in between the hairs on the eyes, the lashes that is. And the reason I like to do that is because I really like the liquid waterproof liner. <laughs> and so I use that usually on the top, but this is something called tight lining, tight lining, where you can um, just get a little bit of color underneath the lash line, okay? So I'm not really like going underneath my eye area. I'm just kind of going right where the lashes meet 
the lid and then I'm putting just a little bit of color kind of it's almost like you're going in between the lashes but with this really creamy formula it's really super super easy so as you can see like it didn't do much but just a little bit so if you kind of like just a little bit of liner that's one little tip and easy thing to do if you like to do the pencil on top it is super easy these are just so creamy and easy to apply so all right, so let's use our liquid. So this one is always a super fun to apply. Now, I love this one because it is actually, as you can see, a little tip, um, a felt tip. So you can literally just go like this and apply it. I do short little strokes. Oops, hello. Where is that? All right, short little strokes. There we go. Good. So just a little bit of definition there. And we'll do the other side. A lot of people try to do it all in one swoop. And if you do that, it's pretty hard to get it right where you want it. So, all right. So we're getting more, again, definition right in, in our um, look here. So there we go. All righty. Okay. So, of course, you can get fancy, right? And you can do the... Um, the winged liner look. Um, that's always fun too. So it's just a matter of preference, okay, on what you want to do. There are no rules in um, makeup, really. The, the only rule is that there are no rules. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and just, I want to put this back up just to remind you. So if you're trying to figure out, I want to have all that information there. Remember that you can go to this link and um, get access to this makeup guide. So um, just wanted to put that back on the screen for a moment. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into brass and then get some lips on here. So, um, all right, let's see here. Okay. Now for brows, I have actually done a, um, brow tutorial. That's about seven or eight minutes long, right? Literally walk you through like every single detail of how to do brows for beginners. So if you haven't watched that video, it's my um, it's my my most watched video. Uh, make sure to check it out because people are actually really loving it. And I try again just to keep it simple. But I'm going to go over a couple things that I teach in there. Um, and first of all, you want to know where the heck do I put my um, my brow liner? Okay. So what you want to do is make sure and I'm just kind of putting this up here, that um, you don't come any closer in between here, obviously, um, next to your nose. That's kind of where your eyebrow should, um, should be in the center there, okay? And then here is where the peak should be. And then back here, like that, your brow should not go any farther down than that. So those are just kind of three little markers um, to help you. So again, that was straight up and down from the nose. And then here it's over the, I can't do that. Oh my God, that's so funny. There we go. <laughs> and then right here. Okay. All right. Yay. Um, okay. So with the precision brown liner, that's what's the key here. Precision. Um, you are going to make sure that we put a little bit. What I kind of like to do is line below here, like actually kind of outline the brow first and then fill it in. Okay. I have on a little bit of brows, but not a whole lot. But anyhow, if you really want to know how to do brows, like in detail, watch that seven minute video. <laughs> I won't take seven minutes right now to show you how to do that. But um, as you can see, I'm just kind of outlining, almost like imagine you're outlining your brow and then you're filling it in with this little feathery stroke approach here. Okay. So see how I'm doing feathery strokes. It's all about kind of keeping that eye lifted um, and making it look natural. That's what we want, right? We want it to look really, really natural. There we go. Okay. So even just with that, you can see that we have a little bit more um, definition in the brows. Um, and then I have this little guy here. This is where you can kind of comb out just a little bit, smooth them out. I love this brush. I will be doing a video on all of the brushes and what to use for what and all that good stuff. So um, make sure to check that out. And let's see, the last thing before I put the lips on is the brow tint. So I will tell you a little secret. Sometimes I just use the brow tint. I don't always use pencil. Depends on if I'm um, in a hurry or not. <laughs> but I love 
when I do both, like that's definitely my fave. And so what it's doing, it's um, lifting the brow hairs a little bit, just making them a little bit fuller. So if you already have um, full brows, sometimes you can just do this. You may not have to use a liner to fill in. Usually the liner is kind of to fill in to get the color to look more um, consistent. But um, the uh, <laughs> but the tint is like amazing, right? So that's that. All right, let's get some lips on. I'm dying to get some lips on my lips. My lips on my lips. Okay, let me get this back up here. And we're going to wrap this up. Okay, new waterproof lip liners. I am in love with these new lip liners. They are absolutely amazing. So um, I'm going to show you here. These are all the fun new colors that we carry. We've got several different kinds of lipsticks in different formulations. Okay, so you definitely want to check out all of that. Um, today, I'm going to use a semi-shine um, formula for lips. And then this is a little chart that kind of shows you how to make your lips look a little bit fuller if you want to, or look a little bit smaller. Um, so those are the um, little kind of charts that you can go by. So more voluminous looking lips, fuller um, in, you know, if you want to make them look a little bit thinner too. So I recommend going up this way first. So that's one of the little tips. So this color is called Beige Nude. There we go. Like that. And then down here, I'm just going back and forth. Oh my gosh. I meant to make myself bigger as I was doing that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so what I did was I went from here up like that and then around the bottom. Okay, so that was beige nude was the color that I was using. And then last but not least, I'm going to show um, this color here, which is a very neutral color. Um, I wear, I tend to wear more of a brighter lipstick, but I thought I'd show you this nude look because nude is very popular. There we go. Mm, I love the semi shine. They are so um, luxurious and feel so good on the lips. So anyway, Obviously, I don't have my eyeshadow on. I'm saving that for the eye um, video. So make sure to check back and watch that one. But here is the contouring and defining that I'm doing um, with the cheeks, lips, all that good stuff. So hopefully you got some uh, great tips. Remember to go um, check out that makeup guide so you have that. Reach out to your um, beauty consultant. Let her know that you watched this video. And um, check out the description too because I'll put links to everything down there. And uh, just go and, and um, enjoy uh, all the fun things. So make sure to get that makeup guide and I will see you in the next video. So type, type in the comments too. Let me know um, what tip you liked most out of the contouring today. And then um, why don't you pass this along to a girlfriend that you think might enjoy it? I'll catch you.